Hi guys, it's Leaky and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Leaky and I really love Activeverse, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today, we have the first swimwear review of the year, from me, at least on my channel. Um, a few people have already been asking, because I know swimwear, or swimwear buying season always starts before actual swimwear season, and I finally caved, and I'm even trying a new brand today. Never shopped from them before. I'm curious, I am excited. We had fast shipping, no import fees either, but it's quite pricey. <laughs> so, the brand I'm talking about is Skims. Kim Kardashian's, I think it's Kim Kardashian's brand, right? I don't know, anyway, it's a Kardashian brand. I never watched the Kardashian show, see, I already forgot what it was called. I really have had no interest in that, and yeah, I don't know. So I don't really know much about it, but I know that a lot of people like Skims a lot, a lot of, you know, it's really like hyped on the gram and there is a lot of people who buy from them. They mainly do underwear, but they also do swimwear and they had like some crazy pieces coming and I was just looking at some stuff and then I realized there was also a new launch happening. So I waited a few more days to get some more stuff. And yeah, some of it is a little crazy, but hopefully also fun. Hopefully it's gonna fit. So we have a Skims swimwear review. I didn't order any of the other items, so really just swimwear. And yeah, let's see, let's see uh, what we got here. Again, no import fees, so basically duties and taxes are prepaid. And there is shipping with prepaid return labels uh, from within the EU. So basically they do ship from the US, I think, but you can return from within the EU with a prepaid shipping label. It is not the cheapest, I believe, shipping back from Sweden is 155 Swedish kroner or around 15 US dollars, but it is a prepaid label, which I personally always find much easier than having to figure out the label and the shipping myself. And I think in order to try something on, you know, it's also not price, it's, it's very pricey items. At least I do have an easy returns option. And I really do appreciate that because not a lot of US based brands offer this. So that's at least well done. Let's see if the pieces are also well done. I have a big box here. So full of, full of uh, fun items, hopefully. And let's just open this up. I mean, to be fair, I already unpacked them from the plastic bag, so this would go a little bit faster. But in case you're interested, this, this came in a big box with uh, some uh, nude colored shaper here, paper. And then we got our items in here and you can already see. So we have some colors and some interesting textures and stuff as well. So yeah, I'll put the box to the side so it's a little bit easier and then we can get started. And I will start, I will start, I will start. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Not this one, I think. Something blue, I wanna start with something blue because I really, really liked the color. Yes, let's take this, this little piece. So this, is our my first <laughs> Skims swimwear piece that I'm talking about now. This is the swim high neck top in the color turquoise. And for reference, I'm usually size small on my tops and I'm in between size small and medium for my bottoms. So I went with size small bikini tops and size medium bikini bottoms. Or if it was a one piece, uh, a medium. All right, now that we've solved that issue, well, it wasn't really an issue, it's just a bit of information here. We have this piece, like I said, the swim high neck top. I think it's actually quite cute shape. I was interested in this because it has like an interesting shape. We do have thin straps here, and then in the back you can kind of tie it together. No removable cup pads though whatsoever, and also this interesting seam. I'm not sure how this is gonna look on down there. I don't really understand its purpose. Is it like a band like you have under the chest that under the like like you have in the bra? I don't know if it's gonna fit that way though. Their swimwear is made from recycled nylon, spandex, and yeah, recycled nylon and spandex. It's just different fabric for the body and for the lining. Um in case you're wondering. But yeah, no removal cup hats, it's double lined. So you have this outer layer here. And then the inner layer is a little bit softer and a little bit more sleeker, maybe also a little bit more shiny. So like I mentioned, there's two different, how did I mention that? I mean, it's recycled polyester, no, sorry, recycled nylon and spandex, but the, the percentages mm, uh, differ a little bit between the top fabric and the lower fabric, the second layer here, basically. But yeah, straps here are not adjustable on the sides, so it's not kind of going through here. 
is really this. This is the length it is, but then of course in the back you can kind of adjust. So there's still a little bit of adjustability. You'll have good boob coverage, I think, because you have a high neck and then it should also cover you on the sides here. And yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that it doesn't have removable cup pads. I mean, I guess I knew that probably, but at least maybe there could be some space because it's double lined. So there definitely is, you know, there should be a way to just make a little pocket there so people could put them in if they wanted to. I personally always prefer to have a, a cup pad in there just because if you go into the water, at some point you're become gonna get chilly and there's gonna be nippage happening and double lined fabric is not gonna keep the nippage from being visible for sure. So yeah, let's uh, let's see this one on. All right, I do like this top. I wish there was like some removable cup pads in there, some space for some removable cup pads, but otherwise I think the coverage is quite nice. I do like the cut of it. It's a little bit different. You have some thinner straps going up here, not really cutting across your traps or anything. Nice coverage up here and also on the sides. Then the one thing I also don't understand is like there's this seam down here and it kind of really cuts into the boobs and I don't know why it's supposed to. Yeah, why it is even there like it doesn't need to be there it's you know if it would sit under the boobs maybe but it doesn't really like it, it comes up again and I don't even have big boobs so I really don't understand that um the straps are not adjustable but you do have the adjustability here in the bag otherwise I mean here it will just sit the way it sits but since you have good coverage here on the sides I think it's all fine but yeah, I really like this one the shape of it um I mean yes the removal cup hats I like them. You will definitely see some nippage. It's not super intense as it is a lighter, like a darker color. And you also do have, I don't want to say super thick fabric, but it's double layered for sure. So there's at least that. And then also in the bag, as I mentioned already, you do have very, very minimal coverage. You have that little strap you can tighten here and that's kind of it. So nothing here in the middle of the bag. So I think it's also great for tanning, at least for tanning your bag. Not the front necessarily because you'll get quite a high, uh, you know, a bit of white skin underneath here. But otherwise, I think it's a nice top, yeah. I wish the seam wasn't here. I wish there was removable cup pads, but otherwise, no complaints there. Of course, support-wise, you know, I mean, it's very, very light. Uh, you can still fit this with a bigger chest, I think. There is definitely a bit more space. I got this in my normal size small and it fits fine, so no complaints there. And let's move on. Let's move on to our first pair of bottoms. Um, these are probably the most coverage bottoms that we'll get in this entire haul. And I actually intended to get those bottoms in the turquoise color you just saw the top in, that high neck top. But unfortunately, since I was waiting for more stuff, stuff to drop, the turquoise sold out in size medium. So, you know, I just got a, si a color that matches a lot of stuff, which is this gunmetal color. And these are the swim mid waist bottoms. So you can already see they're quite good coverage, quite high waisted here. You do have a little seam here at the top. So it might cut in a little bit depending on how, where you carry your weight. Um, you do have, I would say, a decent amount of coverage there, a decent amount of high leg as well. And then in the back, you do have some coverage here as well. So it's not a full on G string or anything. It's really, you know, giving you like mid cheek coverage. Mid cheek coverage is that what you what you can say? Because I don't mean the middle of your cheek, but like kind of half coverage of your cheeks, something like that. I hope that makes sense. I think this is the same fabric uh, as the yes, it is as the the tops. I'm assuming most of it is gonna be made from similar fabric. And yeah, you also have seams all around the legs, but these are a little bit more hidden than the top seam that we have here. Uh, I personally don't mind a top seam. You know, keeps the keeps the stuff put. Uh, if, you're, if you're doing a wild water sports thing. And yeah, these feel actually quite nice. I think these feel a little bit thicker than the than the tops for some reason. And again, double lined, of course, with that more shiny, soft fabric uh, on the inside. And yeah, I think it's a nice gray. I mean, I would have preferred it in the turquoise, so it, it would have matched perfectly. But I mean, it's a basic color. It's a good one. So let's see it on. All right, onto these bottoms. I do, in principle, like the coverage that these bottoms give. I wish I could have gotten it in the blue, but as I mentioned, they, those were sold out. I still wanted something to kind of match, so this gray it was. We do have a nice high coverage here in the front. You can still see my belly button. They don't cut in here, but they do have a seam, but they do kind of cut a little bit on 
the the fat I have on the sides here. I mean, it's not so bad. I don't, I wouldn't have wanted to size up for that because they fit fine up here. Like I mentioned, I think we have good coverage here as well. No chance of any slippage. Then you have a little bit more of a wider piece here too. And really, really good coverage up until here in the back. And well, cheek coverage, you know, you could probably get a little bit more if you were able to kind of get it out of that crack, but my butt eats it up anyway. So I don't really care. It's fine. I think these are probably some of the most high coverage options that they have. And yeah, I mean, this is how much they cover you. But again, I think it's really, really nice. I like to have my bikini bottoms come up a little bit higher uh, most of the times. <laughs> Not always, but most of the times. And um, just to get a little bit more compression here, to get a little bit more coverage of that lower belly. And I think a lot of us do have a bit of insecurity about that there. And of course, no one needs to. It's just, you know, normal to have a little bit of something there. But I mean, if you don't feel comfortable, like I said, some days I could just go out like with a very stringy bikini. I feel great about myself. But some days I just need something like this to cover myself. Um, or if I want to look a bit more decent, you know, <laughs> then I think this one is actually a good option. Yes, it shows a bit more cheek. But again, like I said, for me, everything shows cheek because my butt crack keeps eating the bikini bottoms up. So there's that. I think the colors go together. I still wish, you know, I had like a matching set for bikinis. I usually prefer a matching set unless it's a print. Then I, you know, also like to mix and match the colors a little bit. But all in all, I think these bottoms are quite good. If you're a little bit self-conscious about the cutting in here, I mean, that's going to happen with any bottom, I think. I usually have this problem and I just need to get over my insecurities for this. Um, but yes, otherwise I like it. I like how high it comes up and it feels quite nice. Nice and thickly double layered. Probably feels, I feel like these, this feels a little, a little bit more sturdy than the bikini top as well. So would definitely not be see-through or anything and would cover you nicely and keep you in. All right, we have another uh, piece in turquoise because I like the turquoise color quite a lot. Uh, it is a little shrug. I don't own an active wear shrug, but why not have a swimmer shrug, right? So this is the swim long sleeve shrug. Again, turquoise color, got this in a size small. Um, I'm not sure if I would wear this just by itself if I were to wear this like this because I feel like it is quite wide cut here in the front. But to be fair, they also say you can wear this with a bikini top underneath and just have like a little bit of extra coverage for your arms from the sun or if you're doing some water activities and some water sports and you want to just be a little bit warmer but you don't want to wear a full-on wetsuit or something or it's not necessary, you could throw this over here. So yeah, very, very, very deep in the front. I think it would probably look best with a triangle bikini top underneath because the triangle bikini top could basically disappear. Um, otherwise, of course, you could wear it like this. But again, <laughs> it's going to be very scandalous and risky, I think. Uh, we do have a little clasp here in the front, so you could unclasp that like this, and I guess just wear it open, I don't know, or maybe for easy taking on, and, uh, taking, uh, taking it off and putting it back on. But then of course you should be wearing something underneath, I guess. Um, oh, this is not going back, go back, go back. This is really hard to put back together, I'm sorry. But if I don't put it, there we go. I was gonna say, if I don't put it back, it's hard to show. Um, but yeah, we do have long sleeves. There's no thumb holes on the sleeves or anything. And then in the back, it's just very full coverage. I've also seen people reverse this. So I'll also try it on reversed, which would of course give you a lot more coverage in the front. Again, it's double lined. We have the softer, more sleek uh, fabric on the inside. And then on the outside, it's a little bit more sturdy. And there's no removal cup pads, of course. Why would there be? So nothing here. And yeah, I think it's a really beautiful color though. I think I think that's fun. And let's just see it on. All right, onto this long sleeve top. It is a very, very wide cut in the front. To be fair, they did say you could wear this with a bikini top underneath, so it's not necessarily meant to cover your boobs fully. So I think if you wear a nice triangle bikini underneath, you'll be probably a bit more covered. I don't have one in the matching color, so I'll just do this quick and, you know, without any nip slips, hopefully. Uh, but yes, you have like a little clasp that you could theoretically unclasp. I won't do this right now. We have a very, very wide opening here, long sleeves, no thumb holes. And then it's just very, very full coverage in the bag. So kind of if you want a little bit more coverage to protect your arms from the sun, or if it's just a little bit too chilly in the water for you, 
my arms usually are the colder part, the part that freezes first. So, you know, you could just put that on if you go surfing or, I don't know, swimming, snorkeling, something like that. It will give you a little bit more coverage than a bikini top would. And I think you could even reverse this if you wanted to. So let me just try that. All right, and here it is reversed. I mean, you have the same layers as you have in the front. There's no removable cup hats anywhere. So yeah, you can wear it like this for sure. Then I'm not afraid of any <laughs> slipping out here. And you have that little cute opening in the bag. So it depends on what you want to do with it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would say this is definitely not a top for big boobs if you want to wear it with this to the front. So just keep that in mind. I feel like now I could also wear that higher cut bikini top underneath because that only had like a small string here. Maybe it would come out a little bit lower than this part. But yeah, definitely this way I feel a little bit more secure and I look a little bit more sporty and you could still wear a bikini underneath and just be a bit more covered. I'm not sure if I want to keep it because like I feel like you can kind of feel that it's reversed. You have that like now like kind of a submarine neck cut or boat cut. I don't know how you call it in English. But, and I feel like it's cutting in here a little bit, but I'm also a bit more sensitive when it comes to things cutting into my throat. So just keep that in mind too. Um, but yeah, I think it looks a bit more sporty. It's definitely less scary for sure. All right, Skims, of course, does have some very risky pieces. I mean, we already saw the wide cleavage, big cleavage moment with that shrug. But of course they do have some very risky, weird pieces. So I figured I had to get one. And I mean, yes, it's not quite Kylie Swim, I think. I mean, I've never tried Kylie Swim, fortunately. But we all know that the quality was pretty, pretty bad. And this is definitely not the same, but still there were some risky styles, some interesting styles, and I figured I should try at least one of them. So we do have the swim and lace up monokini here. And I got this in this neon green color because I figured why not? You know, it's already a wild piece, why not go wild? This is really hard to show because there's a lot of strings on this one. So you basically, in the back, you just have the little string here like you would have in a bikini top and then just the, the little back of your uh, bottom here. I like, by the way, that the tags, the hang tags are in the same color so that it's obvious even if you don't want to cut them out, you could leave them in there. and. Uh, we have a little skims one as well that you probably don't want to cut out and then actually it's skims written on here in uh, silicone. So it's very, very intricate, I would say. So this one you could leave in and then you could cut out the washing instructions and everything. By the way, now I'm curious, how should you wash this? Hand wash, of course. Rinse with cold water after wearing hand wash cold. Do not bleach, hang to dry, do not tumble dry, do not spin dry, do not iron, do not dry clean. Of course. Um, yes. But basically, you know, back is very minimal. And then in the front, you have this whole lace up situation. You could undo this and could make it wider to fit you a little bit better. If you have a wider upper, like or bigger boobs or something, you kind of adjust this a little bit. And then of course you have a little tie here at the top as well. So it's a little wild. We do have actual metal things here at the hook. So it's not plastic or anything. And yeah, it goes kind of very low down and then you have minimal coverage bottoms, I would say. I mean, not minimal coverage, but you know, I guess eh, it's not so bad actually. But yeah, on the side for sure minimal because you do only do half the strings to tie together. Um, the color is very bold for sure. I think they had a whole alien thing with their advertisement campaign for this particular la launch that they had with this neon green and the turquoise. But yeah, let's see this on. All right, I feel a little bit like Borat right now. I feel like it's also kind of a disaster. Like, yes, I could tighten the strap up here, but it, like, I don't know, I seem to be too long for this because I feel like I'm about to expose butt crack over there. And it's just very, very weird <clears throat> with the uh, kind of straps being so low here in the front and then kind of coming up higher in the back. and. I don't have that much more space to give up here because otherwise my boobs are gonna fall out. And I feel like you can kind of, you know, look in at some corners and stuff. It's not great. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a no from me. Foo, that was uh, something. <laughs> so let's hope this continues a little bit better. We had a strong start 
and then you know we're kind of on a decline right now and i'm not sure if we're gonna get out of this because when i took this out of the box i was like w where's the fabric where, where's stuff supposed to go is this like a kid's bikini uh i don't know but this is the metallic swim microscope bikini top in dragon fruit i do like the color i do like the metallic finish I, I, I do like it. I think it's fun. And I really, really hope this fits somehow because I think it is super fun. Again, see, and I'm starting to realize all the hang tags just like the perfect color. That's like, that's something I really, really like. Uh, but yes, onto this dragon fruit color. I think, I think it's super fun. And yeah, again, metallic finish. Really, really good. I hope this is a piece you can actually wear swimming because I've seen that some of them weren't. And then I was like, eh, no, this doesn't say. This also doesn't say. Does this say something? No. But this doesn't say, for example, that you should rinse this after wearing. It just says to hand wash cold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it's, it's quite small. It has a little scoop under the boobs. I don't know if you even can tell, but like there's a little bit of a scooping happening and then a square neck here. It is, again, still double-lined, but I feel like the metallic is only going to enhance the nippage that you can just see through the double-lined fabric. On the inside, of course, it's not metallic. We have the same inside lining fabric that we had with the other pieces, at least. So it's nice and soft. I like that fabric a lot. And um, yeah. And then again, straps here are not adjustable. They're a little stretchy, but they're not adjustable. And then you just have two straps here to kind of tie it in the back. And I really hope this works somehow, but... I don't know, like, this is here, do we get under boob, do we get over boob, is that is over boob even a thing, but like, where does it go? Let's see it on. Alright, this is very, very, very minimal coverage, as anticipated, um, the, the whole thing, but let's just talk about this top first. Yeah, when I, when I saw that, you know, that it showed like a lot of boob, I was like, okay, but I have a small chest, it should fit my small chest, and it does, but barely, like... I mean, I like, I like the shininess, but I, like, why do you have to make it so short? Like, it's, it barely covers anything. Like, I don't mind the thin straps, that's fine. Like, but, but maybe just a little bit more here. I don't know. And then it's like a tiny, like, it's a bit round here, right? It's like a little bit kind of trying to accentuate the boobs. But maybe just do a little bit more. I don't know, do it on top. Like, have it have it cover a little bit more and then i mean it's also of course double lined so yes there's still been nippage but there's no because there's no cup pads but it's it's still kind of like you know at least there's a second layer but i feel like also the shininess is going to enhance nippage if you see it um i like i said don't get me wrong i do like how shiny it is i think it's super fun and then the back is very, very simple. We just have that one strap here. Similar to that blue top that also just had the straps and then you just had like one strap to adjust. But I don't know, it's, it's a little, a little uh, very, very, you know, low coverage and it doesn't make me feel very secure. Even with my small chest, it's more of a, you put it on and then you just, you know, lay somewhere all day like this and just uh, have a good day in the sun or in the shade or whatever you're doing, but you don't move. If you bring your food, you know, you're just like, oh, okay. That's kind of what you could wear this for, I think. On to the matching bottoms. Here we go. If you think they're skimpy, you might be right. And they, they know this is skimpy, okay? Because this is called the Metallic Swim Skimpy tie bottom. Again, dragon fruit. This is the metallic finish. And the dragon fruit color that I really, really like. I think it's super fun. But yeah, these are very, very skimpy bottoms. Also very, very simple. This is like just same front coverage as back coverage. No, maybe even slightly less still in the front. But yeah, you have nice and simple. Just the ties at the side. Simple triangle shape here. I feel like they didn't go... It's It's... It's... it's Barely okay, but it is kind of okay width-wise. I still think it's doable. But what I also realized is we have no uh, no hygiene liner. Where did the hygiene liner go, I ask you? That is a very good question, huh? We don't know. 
So yeah, interesting. Again, size medium though. If you want more coverage, you could size up, I think, because you can easily just tie this tighter. If you want less coverage, you basically just, uh, if you want that, I mean, you could size down, obviously, because yeah, like I said, the strings can be adjustable. And yeah, metallic on the outside, soft and like just nice on the inside. The strings are metallic all the way, so they could cut in a little bit because the fabric is quite, I don't know, it's, it's not soft or anything. So it's a little bit stiff as well. And yeah, I don't know. Let's see it on. All right, onto these bottoms. Very, very, very low cut in the front here. I'm like, I'm afraid if I move too much, it's gonna expose more and more of this area. Um, I like, of course, that it's adjustable. You can kind of bring these up a little bit higher, but like I said, I feel like if I, also if I fold forward a little, I think it's like kind of, it's it's not super tight here. And it's also not super tight here, but like, I don't, I can't make it fit too tight. Like I can't make it fit much tighter because then it starts cutting in here with the, I don't know. I think I had, Oh, well, I know I have similar bottoms from Buff Bunny Collection from last year, where the drawstring that you, or the adjustable bend you had actually also went through here. And then you could basically also adjust the fit of this, which then made it more fitting. So you could kind of adjust a little bit better than there's like no gaping, because I have gaping here and here, and it just really does make me feel secure. So yeah, I, I don't personally, per se, mind the shape of these bottoms. I mean, yes, they're very, very skimpy. Don't get me wrong, very, very skimpy. But sometimes it's nice if you feel secure in these, you know, if you feel confident in these, but I wouldn't feel com comfortable and confident in these because I'd feel like if I make a wrong move, they're gaping, they're showing off things I don't really want to show off. So yeah, but uh, definitely very, 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 very skimpy. Um, again, I do like the color and the metallic. I think it's a super fun design by itself, but I just want more coverage, a better fit from these pieces. Yeah. All right, next up, we have a very, very simple triangle bikini top for a lot of money, <laughs> but it's velvet, okay? So this is the velvet triangle bikini top in umber. Um, I'm not sure if the velvet is worth the increase in price. Again, I'm not 100% sure if you're supposed to swim in these. Like, I mean, you should be able to because it is swimwear. Ooh, did you know that this is actually made in the USA? Interesting. Um, but yeah, anyway, I, I didn't buy some of the swimwear that I saw that I actually thought was cute because it's specifically stated very, very obviously on the page that it was not intended for swimming. Then I'm like, okay, what am I going to do with it? This one, it didn't say as obviously. Maybe I didn't look enough, but for sure it's some, on some for some other pieces, it did say it pretty obviously. Um, we do have, yeah, this velvet fabric is very shiny. We do have velvet strings, so the strings are full on velvet, a little stretchy, and they have some little uh, things at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. These are made from plastic, I would assume. Even has a little Skims logo on it. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if the camera focuses enough for that, but yeah. Has a little Skims written on there, and it's a triangle bikini top, triangle piece here, triangle piece there. You can adjust them a little bit. Um, it's not as easy because it's the velvet, so the fabric has a little bit more structure, but it's doable. String up here, string at the bottom, or at the bottom, at the back, basically. And that is it. No removal cup hats again. The inside fabric is the same fabric, or the, I mean, that's the lining. The lining is the same fabric as always, as with all these pieces. And let's just see it on. All right, this is just a regular skimpy triangle bikini, tie bikini combo but in velour because who doesn't like velour i'm actually not sure if you can go into the water with these pieces um but yeah it is velour actually the, the hack is in here in case you wonder why it looks a little odd again no removal cup has the velour is a little shiny it's gonna um bring your nippage you know to people's attention <laughs> no removal cup has here either it is double lined again top layer is this velour and then we also do have an actual velour string here. So it's not just normal fabric, it's velour that also kind of, you know, goes all the way around and at the top, just like a normal triangle bikini. So you have that there and you can adjust it. I mean, there's not much like 
can't go wrong with this. I would say that, you know, they could have made the triangles a little bit bigger, but it works. You can adjust it to what you need a little bit, make it a little bit tighter, make it a little bit looser. Size up, size down, depending on how much coverage you want. Um, yeah, it's not, I, I pr definitely don't prefer triangle bikinis as much as other styles. I just don't think it flatters my boobs too much, but it is a very standard bikini style, right? So yeah, again, can't do much wrong with this. I'm not sure if it's worth all the money. Um, I mean, it's velour, but again, like I said, there's no removable cup pads. You can see the nippage on display. Eh, and after all, it's just like a triangle bikini. So yeah. All right, we got some matching bottoms. These are the velvet tie bikini bottoms in umber. So matching set, basically. These ones are not as skimpy as the metallic ones we saw before, which is why they're not called skimpy, I assume. Um, yeah, metallic fabric, metallic velvet fabric on the outside, normal lining on the inside here. And as you saw, like this actually you can cut off more easily. You kind of have to cut this off, don't you? Uh, yeah. Anyway, ties on the side that are made from velvet. The velvet is fabric is a little bit more structured. And yeah, I mean, like I said, more coverage. For sure, more coverage in the back. I'm not sure about the coverage in the front, but you do have more coverage in the back. So it's not a full-on string. Um, yeah, it's not going to disappear in your butt crack entirely. And I don't have much else to say because it's a very simple tie bikini bottom. So let's see it on. Okay, onto this bottom. These bottoms are actually a little less skimpy than the pink metallic ones. I know, that's that's weird because they look the same from the front. I feel like there's a little less gaping here. They do go a little bit lower still though. And I don't know how much lower they can go before um, YouTube bans me from, from this from their website basically but yeah we have uh, our um, adjustable straps here on the side like I said low scoop it's at least not gaping and then in the back you actually do have a little bit more coverage so it's not a full-on string in the bag you do have more coverage than you had with the pink uh, metallic one so that's that's a win I guess still scoops a little bit low though for my liking and of course you could kind of hike it into the crack and uh you know, just make it sit there. Surprisingly, this stays quite okay now on my butt. So it's not moving too much. And of course, I'm also not running around too much uh, right now, but yeah. It's a simple bikini, but in velour, not sure if it's worth all the money or all the hype. So yeah. All right, and then last but not least, I thought I was gonna be fun and adventurous and try this velvet sarong mini skirt in the color umber again. So it's a full matching set. It's just a little bit more of a cover up. Um, it has a little tie situation here, kind of a tie twisty thing. And for the fact that this is not cheap, I'm kind of disappointed with the manufacturing here. I don't know if you can see it, but like there's an open seam here. There is just, loose seams as well like it's not a good look like what is going on here this should be not be like this there shouldn't be this many loose seams here for the price that they're asking for this it's ridiculous like they're everywhere these loose seams it's yeah I'm kind of disappointed with that for sure I'm just gonna leave them there and uh, yeah I don't know not great we do have just this velvet fabric, basically, you have a little bit of stretch to it. It doesn't look very long. It doesn't look like it's going to cover a lot. Actually, this is a size medium and it doesn't look to be very big. I expect it to be like a little bit, I don't know, a little bit bigger, I guess. Um, you have this like draped waistband. And yeah, I mean, it's a little asymmetrical, as you can see. There's a little bit more of an opening here on one side. The inside, again, the matching lining fabric but the lining fabric here doesn't feel different it feels less soft i think so maybe the lining here is actually different uh definitely feels not as nice as it does with the other the other uh pieces and yeah overall quality of this one doesn't seem to be so great uh, but let's see maybe it looks good on all right here we have the skimpy little cover-up-esque skirt i don't even want to call it a skirt because 
like it's barely covering anything. Um, yeah, <laughs> a little bit, you know, of movement. And this is all going to go up here and it's going to sit there and it doesn't stay like this. So now again, another piece where you supposed to just lie on your, on your thing and just, uh, you know, just chill the whole day like this, wait for people to come by, talk to you, bring you your food, your drinks, whatever, but definitely not made for actual movement and for real life situations. <laughs> and for that, it is quite pricey, you know? Um, I mean, I do like the velour. I like how shiny it is, but like it's just riding up so much it's fucking crazy it's so crazy you have like this little bit of extra like you know ruched fabric here and then this little twisty design um i also already found some loose seams here which for the price that this stuff is not good um yeah it's it just keeps riding up it's crazy like in theory this could have been a nice piece but it's just there is no, pra like, it's not practical at all. There's no way I would ever wear this anywhere because it does not cover anything as, as soon as I start moving. Um, yeah, it doesn't even cover my butt cheeks fully at all. And it would never do that unless maybe you pull it like to be a low waisted thing. But again, as soon as you start moving, it's going to be up here and that's it. So not great. Definitely not worth the money <laughs> unless you want it for a photo shoot or like I said, just... You're just the type of person that just sit, lies at the pool, like from morning to evening. And then, you know, maybe, maybe this is for you, but otherwise I don't see a point. All right, it's conclusion time. I will say I am not super excited about most of the pieces. If I keep anything, I think I would keep, let me just grab it. The bottoms here, I think this gunmetal color is like a nice basic color that you can mix and match with a lot of stuff. And maybe the first bikini top that, I, that, we, that we saw, that you saw, that I tried on. The high neck one here, I think that was actually quite nice, even though it had this uh, weird seam here at the bottom that kind of didn't, it didn't flatter the boobs, you know? It kind of made them look smaller, which is really not something you sh usually people try to do. But I did like how much coverage I got from it. And, you know, it's just like a little bit more of a different cut. So I thought that was actually quite nice. So yeah, maybe I would keep these two pieces. The rest goes back. I will certainly complain about the skirt with the with the threads, the loose threads and everything. And the hygiene liner missing in one of the bottoms. Because if you already put them in, you know, like... And I, I get what people put them in. It's It makes sense. It's fine. Um, but basically usually also you can't really send it back if there's no liner in there so I definitely need to complain about it not being there because otherwise they'll be like oh you sent it back but the liner is out like you know it's weird anyway I did like the idea of the metallic pieces I did like the color a lot it was so vibrant I really like the color we can take a quick look at it it's a fun color it's certainly really really fun but it's just there's it's not doing anything for my boobs it's not helping it's barely covering I don't know, I wish they had made some really nice pieces in this because I would like it. I don't mind being bold and standing out a little bit and this is like fun, but yeah, it was just not not the greatest, you know. So the velvet pieces and the metal, metal pieces, <laughs> the metallic pieces definitely do go back because yeah, I just didn't like them as much and I preferred the more basic fabric pieces, I guess because it just made better pieces in the, those fabrics. And th to be fair, the tops weren't as well either because of the fact that there's no removable cup pads. They don't feel particularly thick or like much better quality than some normal brands, like more affordable brands bikini tops. So I don't really see a pro like the point of spending so much money on something like this. But the bottoms were nice. I liked how high they were sitting, how they fit me. I did like that. I think they feel quite okay. Do they feel like the best swimwear I've ever put on? No. But they feel pretty good, you know. All in all, would I order from Skims again? If they had something that I really, really, really wanted to have, like something that looks really amazing, I could consider it, especially because they do have simple returns, not super cheap returns, but it's possible to return. But do I necessarily need to? No. I think I can get something similarly or like at least of similar quality or better for cheaper. 
So that that's my verdict for now. I mean, yes, I've only tried them once so far, but I did try quite a variety of pieces. I at least tried. Um, I'm really curious. Have you ordered from Skims before? Have you tried Skims swimwear before? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really, really curious always to hear your guys' th your guys' thoughts, <laughs> your guys' thoughts. Um, what you think? Maybe you've also never tried them, but you were cu curious to try them. Let me know. Also, let me know if you have any other swim brands you'd like me to review, and I'll try my best to fulfill those wishes. Um, like I said, summer is coming at some point, hopefully. We just had snow again today and the water is like two degrees, so I'm not gonna be swimming in any of these pieces soon, okay? <laughs> it's it's just not gonna happen. Um, even dry suits are pretty cold right now. So yes, um, but it's always good to, you know, start with these reviews and start to try some pieces so I'm ready and set for the summer. So yeah, if, and if you have any feedback, any suggestions for, suggestions for new brands, see I can't even talk anymore, let me know down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and I'll always try to do my best to fulfill your requests and your wishes and to improve if there's any feedback for that. Um, yes, if you want to, you can DM me on Instagram and follow me there as well. Uh, I usually only post yoga pictures, not necessarily like swimwear pictures there, but who knows, maybe my stories when I go on vacation or something. Um, yes, and of course, like I said, you can DM me there, but be aware, I'm way more likely to see your comments here on YouTube, so if you really want me to review something for you or try out a brand, just drop it in the comments here. And like I said, I'll get back to you as soon as I can and try my best to uh, answer your requests and yeah, exactly. Anyway, otherwise, if you like this video, give it your thumbs up. And also, if you haven't done that yet, you can also subscribe to my channel so you can get notified about all the new videos that are coming up. Like I said, we have more swimwear coming. And um, if that's your jam, if you're really interested in that, then I would click that subscribe button so you get the notifications. And of course, you should have notifications on, right? That's how it works on YouTube. I have no idea. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.